May I come in? So it would require a third party. What was Sonal's mother doing here? So we were having a chat. What about? A third party is truly required, Father. No, sister, no third party. You and I are due for a talk. You have to stop this campaign against me. You can stop it any time you wish. How? Confess and resign. You are trying to destroy my reputation, but the result of all of this is going to be your removal, not mine. What are you doing in this school? I am trying to do good. Or even more to the point, what are you doing in the priesthood? You are single-handedly holding this school and this parish back. From what? Progressive education and a welcoming church. You can't distract me, Father. This isn't about my behavior, it's about yours. It's about your unfounded suspicions. That's right, I have suspicions. You know what I've understood through all of this? Why do you suspect me? What have I done? You gave that boy wine to drink, and you let him take the blame. That's completely untrue. Did you talk to Mr. McGinn? All McGinn knows is the boy drank wine. He doesn't know how he came to drink it. And did Donald's mother have anything to add to that? No. So that's it. There's nothing there. I'm not satisfied. If you're not satisfied, ask the boy then. He would protect you. That's what he's being doing. And why would he do that? Because you have seduced him. You're insane. You've got it in your head that I corrupted this child after giving him wine, and nothing I said can change that. That's right. But correct me if I'm wrong. This has nothing to do with the wine. Not really. You've had a fundamental mistrust in me since before the incident. It was you that warned Sister James to be on the lookout, wasn't it? That's true. So you admit it? Certainly. Why? I know people. That's not good enough. It won't have to be. How's that? You will tell me what you've done. Oh, I will. Yes. I'm not one of your truant boys, you know. Sister James is convinced that I'm innocent. So you talk to Sister James. Well, of course you talk to Sister James. Did you know that Donald's father beat him? Yes. And might that not account for the odd behavior that Sister James noticed in the boy? It might. Then what is it? What? What did you see? What did you hear that convinced you so thoroughly? Does it matter? I want to know. On the first day of the school year, I saw you touch William London's wrist. And I saw him pull away. That's all? That was all. That's nothing. What are you writing now? You leave me no choice. I'm writing down everything that you say. I tend to get too flustered during an upsetting conversation, and this may be important. When I talk to the Monsignor and explain why, you have to be removed as principal of this school. Obedience being 
one. You answer to us. You have no right to step outside the church. I will step outside the church. If that's what needs to be done, then the door should shut behind me. I will do what needs to be done, Father. That means I'm damned to hell. You should understand that or you will mistake me. Now, did you give Donald Muller wine to drink? Have you never done anything wrong? I have. A mortal sin? Yes. And? I confessed it. Did you give Donald Muller wine to drink? Whatever I have done, I have left in the healing hands of my confessor. As have you, we are the same. We are not the same. A dog that bites is a dog that bites. I do not justify what I do wrong and then go on. I admit it, desist, and take my medicine. Now, did you give Donald Muller wine to drink? No. Mental reservation? No. You lie. Very well then. If you won't leave my office, I will. And once I go, I will not stop. Wait. You will request a transfer from this parish. You will take a leave of absence until it is granted. And do what for the love of God? My life is here. Don't. Please. Are we people? Am I a person, flesh like flesh and blood like you, or are we just ideas and convictions? I can't say everything. Do you understand? There are things I cannot say. Even if you can't possibly imagine the explanation, sister, understand that there are circumstances beyond your knowledge. Even if you feel certainty, it is an emotion, not a fact. In the spirit of charity, I appeal to you. On behalf of my life's work, you have to behave responsibly. I put myself in your hands. I do not want you. My reputation is at stake. Your reputation? You can preserve your reputation. If you say these things, I can't do my work in the community. Your work in the community should be discontinued. You would leave you with nothing. That's not true. It was Donald Muller who had nothing, and you took full advantage of that. I have done nothing wrong. I care about that boy very much. Oh, because you smiled at him? and to sympathize with him and talk to him as if you were the same? That child needed a friend. You are a cheat! That warm feeling that you experienced when that boy looked at you with trust was not the sensation of virtue! You are a disgrace to the caller. The only reason you haven't been thrown out of the church is the decline in vocations. I can fight you. You'll lose. You can't possibly know that. I know. Where is your compassion? Nowhere you can get at it. Stay here. Compose yourself. Use the phone if you wish. Good day, Father. I have no sympathy for you. I know you are invulnerable to true regret. And cut your nails.
Yes. This is Father Brennan Flynn of St. Nicholas Parish. I need to make an appointment to see the bishop. Sister James. What is it, sister? 